when Guy talks about having an idea of how people are supposed to treat you as being in the box, could he please tell us what the alternative is? Isn't it normal to want to be treated well and to not tolerate bad treatment? Everybody, I can't tell you how deep that question runs in the dregs of a box mind that cannot believe that there is any other identity than the one that appears when somebody pushes against the image that you have of yourself. But you see, you have to decide this for yourself. I can't do this for you. If I hate or resist or reject or push away or want to cause pain to any other person, and you can say, well, I don't want to cause pain to any other person. They're causing pain to me. You wanting them to see where they are wrong is self-inflicted punishment. Anytime you want someone else to see where they are wrong, and then, by the way, usually take measures, if not outwardly, certainly inwardly, going over the dark dialogue and justifying why you feel what you do, in that moment, all you are doing is participating in a level of consciousness that loves to point to someone else as being the source of your pain when you are the one inflicting the pain on yourself by having an enemy of any kind. You and I can live in another world. I'm there now. I've never said it before, but I'll say it now. You and I can live in another world where there's no enemies, where it doesn't matter what anybody says or does. Because if in that moment one is completely attentive and completely aware of the fullness of that box, frustrated and trying to free itself from people that it blames for its pain, in the fullness of that emptiness, there is another order of self that is transformed by your enemy. Love thine enemy, Christ said. Why? Because my enemy frees me from the consciousness that creates enemies then I'm in another world. And in that other world, I will know I should have nothing to do with somebody like that. Instead of the world we're in now where people abuse us as they do, and because we're so identified and attached and ultimately dependent upon them for some idea or image we have of ourselves, including not wanting them to be the way they are, we're so dependent upon them we can't see the dependency and enabling lives inside the same box. Scatter the box, burn it up by the light of awareness. Then there's no normal, there's only being remade new.